Hey Aquarius, welcome to Cards and Clarity Tarot, and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your general weekly love reading for February the 17th through the 23rd. Um, if you are not interested in the love readings, I do channel messages at the end of the week for each time. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, as well as my information if you would like to reach out to me. So you can apply this reading to your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. So Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. The overall energy between you and your person is the star card. So uh, Aquarian energy. All right, so I'm going to pull three cards now for the recent past, three cards for the present, three for the future. I'll clarify as I need to. Uh, this is going to be the near future, of course, so it's not the final outcome. And I'm going to pull two cards for your feelings, two cards for theirs, and two for the final outcome, okay? So recent past. Ooh. We got the Hermit, the King of Pentacles, and the Tower, okay? So Virgo, Taurus, and Scorpio, also Aries with the Tower. Okay, so let's see. Currently, we've got the Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. All right, we've got the Two of Wands, Aries energy, and the Ten of Pentacles, uh, Virgo energy. Did you meet this person through work or school, maybe? Some type of institution of some sort. Um, let's see here. Near future, we got the Eight of Cups. Uh, what else, what else, what else? The Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands reverse, and the Devil card. Okay. We love it. Um, six, six of Wands reversed is Leo energy and the Devil is Capricorn. Okay. So I'm definitely feeling like some stability was rocked here in the past. Uh, somebody's stability, whether it was financial or the way that they saw themselves, something of that nature. Uh, Aquarius, I feel like you, I feel like there's a healing energy up top here with the star card showing up. All right. The Hermit, soul searching. Okay. Soul searching. All right, in the past here. Yeah, definitely a lot of transformative energy. I've been seeing this for you a lot lately. All right, uh, healing temperance is on the bottom of this deck here. All right, but somebody definitely rocks your stability here in the past. All right, nine of wands showing up currently, uh, two of wands and the ten of pentacles. Okay, so you're seeing your value, I'm feeling here. All right, you're out of this energy of, um, I don't even want to call it looking over your shoulder. It feels more like uh, insecurity, honestly, almost. I hate to say that, but uh, that's what I'm feeling here. Uh, nine of Wands, you're realizing that you have control over the way that you see yourself and you're and you're learning how to value yourself, okay? You're realizing that, you know, that's what I'm feeling here. Like like you're taking the lead in regards to uh, your self-worth. You're not you're not putting that like like the ball is in your hands. You're not putting that in anybody else's hands, okay? And you're valuing valuing yourself with this ten of pentacles and you're getting your stability back. Uh, not only are you getting your stability back, but you're strengthening that, okay? Eight of cups coming up in the near future. I'm definitely feeling like you're walking you're walking away from someone that you put on a high horse or they put themselves on a high horse. Okay, this is interesting here. Let's see. Yep, nine of swords in reverse. You're no longer grieving over someone here, but you are still feeling connected to them in a lot of ways. Um, tell me about this devil card. Oh, this person brought out a lot of insecurities in you. They could have been the cause for, for this change. That's, that's something you're walking away from as well, all right? Uh, Scorpionic energy, the hair font in reverse. This could have definitely been like a, a toxic marriage, someone that you could have been um, married to or just committed to in general. It was definitely uh, something gone toxic here. Something with structure, okay? Um, and it doesn't even feel like, for a lot of you, it doesn't even feel like the structure was... Um, it feels like the structure was one-sided. Does that make sense? Like... Uh, that's what it feels like you're tearing down here in the recent past. But it feels like you're still bound to this person in a lot of ways because those insecurities are still lingering. Whatever way they made you feel is still kind of lingering. But you're no longer grieving over them as a person. You're grieving over the effect that they had on you. Okay? But I do think that you are, um, you, you were loyal to them. Okay? With that hair font showing up, you were loyal to them. I don't think they were very loyal to you. All right? Um, but that's what I'm feeling here. Okay? Yeah, lots of transformation, okay? But but I don't feel that you're fully there yet. How's Aquarius feeling towards this person? Hmm. You want me to take all these, okay? Yeah. I think that you're getting clear about the purpose that this person served in your life in regards to um, what the things that you needed to face. King of Swords to me is a card of somebody who faces things. It's also a card, too. I feel like this person like kind of guided you to... Your inner calling in a lot of ways with the hermit showing up, the star showing up, the king of swords, all right? Uh, the hair font. There are a lot of uh, indications here of somebody being guided, all right? Your guides. I, I, I don't know what this is here, all right? I really don't. But it's definitely feeling like, um, you know, you're loving yourself. Like, this is an energy of uh, mirroring. So I feel like you are, like, 
I literally feel like this is an energy of admiring yourself. Okay, but I do feel like you're watching them. All right, I do feel like you are um, still spying on them here and there. But I feel like you're you're um, more grounded emotionally. All right, you're able to do that without you know getting in your feelings and, and things of that nature. But I definitely feel like you're getting clear about the, about the role that they played here. All right, Scorpionic energy. I do think that you still wonder about them. Though. Okay, let's see how they're feeling towards you. How are they feeling towards Aquarius? Towards Aquarius. How are they feeling towards Aquarius? Queen of Swords reversed. You got King of Swords upright. They've got Queen of Swords reversed. Interesting. Interesting. Six of Cups. Yeah. They. This person did something here. I don't know what it, what it was here. Whether they just uh, didn't tell you how they really felt about you. Piscean energy with the High Priestess on the, on the bottom of the deck. Uh, Scorpionic with the Six of Cups. Justice in reverse. Libra. Libra with the Queen of Swords again. Okay. So it's definitely feeling like this person like... You got the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine of the same suit. They're in this Queen of Swords, uh, you know, downright position. So it seems like, uh, to me, like they're lacking clarity. They're lacking honesty, all right? They, they're lacking closure as well in regards to the past, okay? So it's like they're lacking the closure. They're lacking, um, what is it here that I'm looking for? They, they just feel like things need to be made right, okay? They feel like things need to be made right, Um Things need to be explained that they, that they didn't explain before. Final outcome, please, for Aquarius and this person. Final outcome for Aquarius and this person, please. Final outcome between Aquarius and this person, please. The sun. So clarity, ten of cups in reverse. All right, uh, five of swords in reverse. I mean, I don't feel like you're really fighting for this, okay? Um, yeah, I don't think that anything's, that anything's coming of this. Other than clarity, okay? Leo energy. I think that you both are, um, the death card, the, the, I mean, I've already gone over all the transformative energies here, but it seems like the both of you, um, awakened a lot within one another. It seemed like it happened to you first, now it's happening to them, uh, now that you're, now that you're walking away. So, um, it does seem like you have soul ties to this person, okay? That's what I'm feeling here, but there is some clarity that's going to be had. There's a conversation that's going to be had about this, okay? Um, whatever went down here, but I don't see you like reuniting with this person in any way, shape or form. I see you both giving up the fight here. Um, you know, but I do see things being made right. All right. I do. I do see things being made right. All right. So let's see anything else here. Anything else here for Aquarius in regards to this person? This is going to be a short one. Sorry guys. Seven of swords. Why is that showing up? Why? Why are you here? Talk about the seven of swords. Aquarian energy. Listen, I said it's going to be a short one, and then they're like, oh, psych. All right, so. What, what, is, what is going on? Okay, because Nine of Pentacles, like single abundant energy, like this is, um, you know, it's right before you hit that Empress energy. It's right before you step out of this cycle, and you start looking very attractive to other people. That's what I'm feeling here. Like you're, you're um, growing, you're glowing. All right. Um. I'm feeling like an empress energy. Maybe maybe you guys are pregnant. All right, I don't know, but it's definitely that's that's obviously not for everyone. Okay, but I definitely feel like you are dropping the burden of this connection and you're taking care of yourself. All right, and it's leading that person to come back in the way that they the way that they always were, and they're going to get rejected in doing that. And I think that's where they're going to learn their lesson here. Okay, because they're coming back in the same way they were. There is no change, but they're expecting to get some kind of wish here. They're expecting to get some kind of wish fulfillment, and I think that's where the change is going to be triggered. Okay. So this person's not going to learn any lessons until you prove that you've learned yours, okay? That's what I'm feeling here, Aquarius. So um, congratulations on the healing. Like, this is heavy, transformative energy. And I've been feeling this for you guys for, like, months on and off. Uh, like, months, okay? Like, since the end of 2019, I want to say. But, uh, yeah. So hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.